Well, good morning, church. Thank you for joining us on our daily Devo. Today, we're in Deuteronomy chapter 30. And if you read the chapter, at first look, it can be a little confusing because if you just read it, it sounds like the nation of Israel had a conditional relationship with God. That was, if they obeyed God and obeyed the law, they got his blessings. And if they disobeyed the law, they received cursings. But what you need to understand is Moses nowhere taught that we're justified by what we do. A matter of fact, in the first of the five books, remember he wrote the first five books of the Old Testament, he talks about Abraham being justified by faith. In Genesis 15, 6, he says this, And Abraham believed the Lord, and the Lord counted him as righteous because of his faith. However, in Deuteronomy chapter 30, we have to remember that he is speaking to the nation of Israel, believing people. So he's speaking here about fellowship, not about justification. His point was simple. It was this. If they wanted to have a life of full enjoyment, it would depend on them obeying God's word. The result would be as they obey God's word, they would have a life under God's blessings. So if they didn't obey God, then they weren't losing relationship, but they were losing the fellowship of having God's blessings. Think about how it applies to us today. Understand that we're justified by faith. In other words, you have salvation as a gift. There's nothing you did to earn it, nothing you did to receive it, so there's nothing you can do to lose it. It is not conditional. It is based on what God has done. However, as a believer, you can break fellowship with God and no longer be under His blessings. Uh, A great example of this in the New Testament is that of the, the prodigal son. Remember the story? Here's the prodigal, the younger brother who takes his inheritance and he goes off and he and he he lives it blowing it just on everything that he would enjoy. And when he did that, the moment he left, he lost fellowship. He lost the ability to be blessed by his father, but what he never lost was his relationship. He was still his son. And when he came back, really wanting to renounce he was a son and say, I'll just be a servant, he said, no, no, you're my son. And now, because he was back, he now could have the Father's blessings. He could now have the Father's fellowship. So I want you to understand that you have a relationship with God that isn't conditional. But what is conditional is our blessings, our fellowship. If we walk away from God and we disobey God, guess what? There are consequences for those actions. They don't affect our salvation, but they affect our here and now. And what in, in Deuteronomy chapter 30, what Moses was trying to say them, to them is not God's love is conditional, but God understand God's blessing on the nation was conditional. And as they obeyed and followed him, they would be blessed as a nation. So we want to follow God so we can have his fellowship constant, so we can be under his blessing, but never be in fear that somehow our relationship to him is conditional. Guys, I hope you have a great day. Continue in our daily Devo 